Excel confusion. Blank, empty cell, zero length text string, and it's all Microsoft's fault. Now, if you want to be a formula master, you got to watch this video because it exposes a lot of hidden trouble with Excel formulas. Now this cool question comes from Saeed Hassan in the comments. Here we have an empty cell. There's the number 0. Here's a zero length text string. That means in the formula there's double quote, double quote with nothing between the quotes. And this is common in formulas like an invoice formula when you want the formula to show nothing. Or over here, we're checking if double quote, double quote is in the cell. Now, this is different. That's text with a space. And we're going to see that even this sometimes will cause problems. And then there's the number 10. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze these in all the possible ways in Excel. Now, the first way is in a formula, an empty cell always evaluates to 0. So equals, that's truly an empty cell. It doesn't have 0 in it. But if you use that cell in a formula and hit F9, you can see it evaluates to 0. Control Z, and when you zero. enter it, it returns a 0. That means if we ask the question, hey, empty cell, are you equal to? And that's a comparative operator, so it will return a Boolean, true or false. I'm going to say, are those two things equals? And bam, yes, they are, because that cell inside the formula evaluates to 0. Now, a zero length text string is text with zero length. And if we want to check whether that's a zero length text string, it's actually two steps. To check if a zero length text string is text, we use the isText function. Is text, and if we point there and hit tab, sure enough, that's true. Now, actually, we can also check whether that space is text, and sure enough, it is. To check if a zero length text string has zero length, we use the len function. That's for length. The len of this, it better be zero, and sure enough, it is, and len of this. If there truly is one space, it'll be one. Now if we want to check, to check if a zero length text string is both text and zero length with a single formula, then we have two tests. And so we have to use the AND function. And in the first argument of AND, we'll use is text, comma, and then length in the second argument. And we have to ask the question with a comparative operator, is length equal to zero? And we get a true. Now next, text can never equate to a number. So if we make a formula and say, hey, zero length text string, are you equal to zero? That's going to come out false. But check out this next inconsistency. We know that text is not equal to an empty cell. But with a comparative operator, they are. If I say zero length text string, are you equal to empty cell? It comes out true. Now, I didn't even check the uh, up here. If we check the empty cell, is it text, we're going to get a false value. So I'm not sure what's going on with this comparative operator, but that's something that we need to know if we're building formulas. Now, null text string or blank. These are not accurate descriptions of a zero length text string. Now, the word null in databasing and Power Query means the absence of anything. And blank, I don't really know what that word means. And Microsoft causes this confusion with their help menu. Is blank actually checks if there's an empty cell. All right, so we'll just see if this is true. Is blank. I'm going to get a true, but if I check zero length text string, is blank is only checking for empty cells, so I get a false. And what makes this kind of confusing is then Microsoft goes on and count blank. It will count the empty cell 
and the zero length text string. So if I count blank all of these, I, I better only get one and two. And sure enough, when I hit Enter, the word blank here means zero length text string and empty cell. And up here, it means only empty cell. Now, there's other places in Microsoft Excel where they use the word blank. When we use Paste Special, Skip Blanks, that word blank there means empty cell. Now, the way this works is when we highlight this in Control-C to copy, 6, 12, and a zero length text string will be pasted over the data. But because there's an empty cell right there, it'll keep the 7. So in the top cell, right click Paste Special. In the Paste Special dialog box, I check Skip Blanks and click OK. The 6, the 12, and the zero length text string. The only cell where something wasn't pasted was this cell because that is an empty cell. So when it says skip blanks, it really means skip empty cells. But here's where it gets really crazy. Filter. What does blank mean? Empty cell or zero length text string or a space. And I couldn't find help on this in the latest version, but all the way back in 2010, help said blanks checkbox is available only if the range of cells or table column contains at least one blank cell. And check this out. When I select blanks, it's got an empty cell, a zero length text string, and a text formula for a space. All right, now if we get to sum ifs and count ifs, the criteria in double quotes not, that's a less than and a greater than symbol, will return a true for any cell that is not empty. Whereas on the other hand, criteria that has an equal sign in double quotes, that'll return a true for any cell that is empty. So if you really want to count everything that's not empty, or sum ifs or count ifs or max ifs or any of those, we're going to use max ifs. We're going to look through here, comma, and then in double quotes, not. That means not empty. And so in our case, we better get a count of four. That's the only cell that's empty. If we use equals count ifs or sum ifs or max ifs on this range, comma, and in double quotes, we use an equal sign, that counts only empty cells. And we get a count of 1. Now the last topic is logical formulas. Now logical formulas with comparative operators that use a zero length text string, they see both an empty cell and a zero length text string. So if we have equals double quote, double quote, that asks the question, is the cell empty or a zero length text string? If we create the logical formula with not double quote, double quote, that asks, is the cell not empty or not zero length text string? So we'll try this. We'll say, hey, that cell right there, are you equal to double quote, double quote? Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And it sees both the empty cell and the zero length text string. Now we can use is blank if we really want to see if it's empty. And this time I'm going to do a spilled array formula. So I highlight all the potential relative cell references that I had to copy over here. And so when I close parentheses and hit Enter, it spills. And of course, is blank is only checking empty. Now we could say not. Is that cell not? Double quote, double quote. And because it checks both, when I Control Enter, I get a false there. Double click and send it down, and there. Over here, if we wanted to actually check not empty, not is blank, the whole column, close, close, and Enter. And so all of these are not empty. And of course, this one is false because it is empty. All right, that was a lot of fun with double quote, double quote, zero length text string, blank, zero and empty cell. We saw it with logical formulas. We saw it with count ifs and sum ifs as a criteria in the criteria argument. We saw it with filter, paste special, skip blanks, count blank, is blank, 
And we even saw some logical formulas up here using is text length and the and function. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from XLS Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.